Hi everybody, welcome back to another week of uh, Living Well in Christ devotionals. Matthew chapter 16 and verse 13, Jesus has brought his disciples out into a very strategic location. From this location, they could see Caesarea Philippi, the huge Roman fortress that was on top of this big hill. And where they were from there were sitting, there was a cliff. And on the side of this cliff, there was a cave yeah, where it was believed by superstition that that's where Pan, the, the uh, god of of pantheism, of, of uh, you know, that, that believes that um, we worship trees and we worship rocks because they all have a soul, uh, that that's where Pan was supposed to have lived. And out of that very cave was the beginning, there was a stream of water that flowed, and it was the headwaters of the Jordan River. And the Jordan River to the children of Israel was the life source. They fed their cattle from it, they bathed in it, they washed in it, they drank from it. They irrigated from it. If Israel didn't have the River Jordan, Israel would not exist. And so here Jesus brings them to this location. And this is what he says to them. Who do men say that I am? He starts out real general, like a big funnel. Who do men say that I am? And oh, they say you're Elijah. They say you're maybe you're um, uh, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. And then the funnel gets a little closer down, a little more personal. And Jesus says to them, but who do you say that I am? And isn't that the way it is in life? that the revelation of Jesus Christ always starts out kind of general. What's your family say? What were you raised in? You know, But now it is, who do you say? You, you and I need to come to a personal revelation and a decision for Christ. And so that's where Jesus has brought them here today. What I want to talk with about and leave this nugget with you today about is, I like to call this revelation prime revelation. Because here's what happened. Jesus asks this question, and this is what happened. Peter, it says in verse 16, after Jesus asked him, who do, you, who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father which is in heaven. I want to talk just real quickly about the difference between discovery and revelation. Discovery is something we do through study and through um, diligent seeking we can discover truths and we can read our Bibles and we can discover certain truths about the kingdom of God, but they are just principles. It's different to, to discover something about the Lord and for the Lord to reveal something to you and me. Peter did not come to this discovery because of his big hard study and his well learned in his education. Peter was sitting there and when Jesus asked him this question, the lights went on and Jesus said to him, blessed you are you Simon. For you didn't figure this out on your own. Flesh and blood didn't teach this to you. But my Father revealed it to you. See guys, revelation comes from relationship. When we walk with Christ and we talk with Christ and we spend time with Christ and we, we sit in, 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 in worship or we even sit in silence, which is a form of worship, He begins to speak to us in our hearts and He reveals Himself. This is the beautiful thing about God. He is a self-revealing God. That revelation is a byproduct of relationship. I like to call this the prime revelation. Because this revelation that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, that you, Jesus Christ, are Lord of all, is the revelation that all other revelations from God flow from in our lives. And we're going to see over the next few days from this chapter, the next thing Jesus reveals to them is that he reveals the significance of the church. And then he reveals the significance of his death. Then he reveals the significance of rewards or the value system that we're to have in life. And then he reveals to them the, uh, the, the revelation of his second coming. And these are all amazing, powerful, cornerstone, anchoring revelations. But they all come from the revelation that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Let me ask you today, have you had that revelation? Have the lights come on inside of you that Jesus Christ is Lord of all? I hope so. If not, simply pray today and say, God, I ask you to reveal yourself to me through the agency of your Holy Spirit. And watch out what happens. He'll turn the lights on. Go today, live in Christ in the power of his revelation.